Hey, what's up gang? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Guys, I am on location. I'm actually at my place right now, just hanging out, just working on some equipment right now. Hey, the reason for this video, we're gonna be covering a couple highlights on the Echo Red Armor Oil. Uh, they're having us do a Echo Red Armor Oil Challenge. And long story short, if you look at the different oils that are out there, kind of like in a good, better, best fashion, some of the regular oils that you can get at a gas station or maybe a Home Depot, it's kind of like in the good category. You got your Steel Ultras are uh, a little bit more premium. You got the Red Max, a little bit more premium. But apparently the Red Armor uh, Oil is in a class of its own with different additives and detergents and some things to clean up the engines internally. So what they're having us do is they say, sent us a bunch of micro cameras that we're gonna be able to hopefully attach to the MacBook and hopefully capture some good photos and some good videos of the internals of the engine. And then after about 50 to 100 hours, take some more before and after video and photos for you guys to see if the engine internals cleaned up, which is kind of what they're saying. They also included for us an external RPM tachometer. So that's gonna help us measure the RPMs of the engine. What they were saying back in Chicago when we were visiting the headquarters was most of their uh, equipment, they were running it after about like 10 or 20 hours, something like that, was achieving 500 uh, RPM more or better improved efficiency, uh, better performance coming back to the engine. So that's actually kind of significant. Um, so anyway, we're gonna be running both the uh, tachometer on the outside, see if we can get an RPM reading, and then hopefully I'll capture some footage for you guys on the inside, let you see how the engine looks on my Red Max 260 TS. Now this right here, uh, I've got about two seasons on this bad boy. I've uh, been using him all last year and then the year before. Uh, he's definitely weathered. He's the most weathered piece of equipment I have to do this kind of challenge with. So here's the micro camera. Not sure if you guys are even going to be able to focus on that. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or how well it's gonna show up, but this is the spark plug. I don't know if I've changed this thing probably in at least in a year and a half, because I ran it all season and I have not changed it yet this season. So I'm gonna keep the original spark plug in there while we do this challenge. Let's see how it goes. All right, looks like we got some light. Looks like we got some power. Let's see if we can find anything. All right guys, so, so far you guys have just seen the internals. It's pretty gnarly in there, pretty rough, that's for sure. I'm gonna put Humpty Dumpty back together here. We'll put the RPM and tachometer on it, see what we're running, and then every couple weeks, I'll hopefully give you guys some uh, updates and let you know how it's performing. And then I'm excited to see how the internals uh, look after running a couple uh, bottles of uh, the Red Armor through it. Uh, curious, do you guys use any of the Red Armor stuff right now, or are you guys using any of the like Steel Ultra, I think it's called? Um, shoot me a comment down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you guys think it's uh, uh, something that you guys would invest in with the Red Armor Oil? Heard it's a little pricey. Haven't even checked the price on it, With the, to be honest with you. I just use the best stuff, whatever my dealer suggests. I don't try to nickel and dime on premium stuff like this. Uh, you always want to take care of your equipment. You never want to have breakdowns. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, as long as it's, uh, you know, not overly priced or crazily priced, uh, there's nothing wrong with throwing down for some good quality oil. So, anyway, uh, leave your comments down below. Let me see if uh, I can get the tachometer working and we'll get some more footage. Got the little tachometer, got the Velcro. So I put my Velcro right on the front. Should be close enough to get that spark to get the electric current. All right, so Red Max 260TS. Guys, to be honest with you, I have not started this thing at all. It's right now uh, April like 22nd, 23rd, something like that. So let me see if I can fire him up really quick, see how he does. Uh, this has had nothing put into it other than uh, some 50 to one pre-mix fuel for winter to winterize it. So let's see how it goes.
right guys, so I'm running at about 8,700, 8,800 RPM uh, once it warmed up. So I'm excited to see where the RPMs go from there. Again, we got our Red Armor Oil. So Echo, thanks for sending us uh, about a case or so. Probably about 40 or 50 bottles. We'll end up putting, uh, gosh, five, eight, 10 bottles through this thing alone over the next couple of weeks. Um, it's funny though, they wanted me to uh, put 60 to 90 hours on a piece of equipment using the Red Armor Oil Challenge, which as you guys know is about a half a season. But ironically enough, they sent me home with a 2620 trimmer, uh, including the fact that we have one from last year. So anyway, it's always good to have backup trimmers. But guys, curious your thoughts again on the Echo Red Armor Oil. Are you guys excited about this product? Do you guys use this stuff? Let me know. Put your comments down below. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. And uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor. Shoot it a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Big shout out and thank you to Echo for making us one of their user advisory group members, uh, the UAG, and taking us to Chicago. Got to meet so many cool YouTube people and uh, so many different corporate people. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button. If you liked our videos, don't forget to hit one of the other videos and you can keep watching but guys thanks so much for watching we'll catch up with you soon bye, -bye.